It says black powder coated swivel, rubber coated mounting legs. It does not say it's powder coated aluminum. I wanted to make this video of a review of these Atwood Swivelies clamp on seat mount with swivel. I've had them in my boat for about a year now and overall I'm pretty happy with them. They work very well for my needs, but there's a few things that need to be addressed. All the Amazon ads for this say that this is aluminum. This is not aluminum. This is my magnet, my Felix magnet right here. My Felix magnet does not stick to the boat at all, right? But these threaded rods, he sticks. This, which has a rubber boot on it, he sticks to that too. It's got a rubber boot on it, so he sticks better down here. And this, all of this is steel, but every Amazon ad for this says it's powder coated aluminum. It's not powder coated aluminum. Now powder coated steel can hold up and be fine, but I've also seen some of these where these are really rusty. Like they've just corroded into nothing because they're steel. They're not aluminum. So keep that in mind. When you're buying on Amazon, the ad is wrong. Maybe they'll have it fixed someday, but my screenshot here shows what the ad looks like as I'm making this video. Now, the fact that these are steel, I don't think is a terrible thing. I think steel makes them more durable and able to be able to be placed and replaced much more frequently than if they were aluminum. They would have to also be thicker because aluminum is brittle and soft, and so it would have to be a much thicker base in order for it to be aluminum. But just keep in mind, because this is steel, this can corrode. What I do with mine is most of the time, I just loosen these up and take my seats out and place them inside when I'm done boating. So after a year, the one that I've been using with this seat here is still like new because it hasn't been out in the elements to get corroded. Let's look inside the box, see what we got here. So it basically comes ready to go. And it has some instructions. It's for boats with a bench seat depth from 7.5 inches to 18 inches. So that's across here. You set it in place and you tighten it. And that's all there is to it. The benefits of these are they're inexpensive. You can place them anywhere on the benches of your John boat and move them around. You can easily take your seats out of your boat at any time. And of course they swivel 360 degrees. Decide where you're gonna have the seat on your bench, and then you just tighten things up. Once you got the seat base approximately where you want it, then you just tighten down all the wing nuts. Now obviously normally there'd be a seat on here. So here we have a brand new seat, and my seats actually happen to have come with these four screws in here. These four screws, which are inserted very loosely, are what I'll be using to mount the seat. These screws are long enough. The way this works is you set the seat mount on there and then you put your screws in. You can't quite do that without turning it at 45 degrees. You turn the base 45 degrees. And then we can see our mounting spots. Okay, so there's one screw. I have it sitting in there loosely, and then we can find the spot for this one. Get that one started, come up here. Get this one started. And then lastly, get this one here started. Because I'm using screws, we just need to tighten these down. And once you have that done, this one's already been in the boat before, so it's already been adjusted. So when I go to put it back in the boat, I'm basically just setting it in place. And as you can see, it's really hard to get to those wing nuts. The manufacturer recommends that you use needle nose pliers to get these completely tight. That's very tedious and slow to do in this confined space. So what a lot of people have done is they've made themselves a tool out of PVC pipe or something similar. So this tool right here, this only took me a few minutes to make. I just took some old uh, PVC pipe. This happens to be one inch. 
PVC pipe and I just sort of cut a notch in it. I had to cut a really deep notch, as you can see, that's probably uh, over an inch deep in order for it to completely fit over top of those wing nuts. And I know there's other people on the internet who have posted how they've made these types of things. One of the things I might do is I might actually cut notches in the other end of this pipe too, just in case it gets broken. But I'm just gonna keep this in the boat, it doesn't weigh anything. And this tool fits over these wing nuts very easily. And I can even do it blindly from here to be able to tighten the wing nuts down a little bit. So a tool like this really makes it easy to be able to do these. Matter of fact, wouldn't it be awesome if Atwood included a little tool like this with like maybe a T handle? Now with my tool, I made sure that I made it short enough that I could reach from behind this seat when it's on the back bench and be able to clear the uh, transom of the boat. And I labeled it so that way I or anybody else remembers what it's for in the future. And then just snugging them down. which I can pretty much do blindly with this tool. So now our seat is very securely mounted into our boat. Even though it's only on this very front ledge here, it's flush on the back. but it's secure enough that it doesn't come out. And I've had a lot of success with it. I have a link down below to be able to buy these in Amazon. For the price, I think these are a really great option for putting seats in your small boat. You're not drilling anything into your bench. You can pick a variety of different positions to place your seat along the bench. Because for me, I like to be as close to center as possible, but still be able to reach the tiller arm of my motor. Because in this very small boat, if I'm a little too far off to the side, the boat tends to list a bit because when you put 200 pounds of weight over here and I have my little 40 pound motor hanging off, even off the center a little bit to that side, we're still listing a bit. So I usually need to kind of sit near the center. Now, if I were to put a heavier outboard on here in the future, I could probably move this seat to a slightly different location, which wouldn't be easy to do if I had a fixed mount seat because I'd be having to drill more holes into the bench. And as you know, if you've drilled holes into aluminum benches before, you don't wanna have 100 holes in your aluminum bench because if you go to sell that boat someday, it's got a lot of holes in it. So do you have these types of mounts in your John boat or small boat? If so, let me know in the comments below. Now, if you don't think these clamp-on style seat mounts are the right mounts for you, that's okay, because I have a video right here which shows a variety of different mounting options for seats for your John boats. You might want to watch that video next. It's a good one. It's right here.